From the deep, dark reaches of Star Trek Online comes Nicodus and Greebug with another episode. Hello, and welcome to Fleet Action Report, episode 92. Welcome to Bozeman. I'm your host, Nicodus. Uh, I'm, I'm still Greebug, I think. And you're having issues, I know, hence the delay. It's all good. Um... <laughs> We do not have any guests with us currently, but that may change shortly. It's fine. So, Everything's fine here. <laughs> we're all fine here. How are you? As he cringes. Um, or in conversation. So <laughs> you've got me giggling here already. That's that's never a good sign as to what type. It's a of show great we're sign. Have. Great <laughs> sign for a great episode. We can hope, right? Um, so let's see, we're supposed to talk about what we've been up to this week. And I'm just going to start off here by saying I've been a slacker. I have not spent any time on my new recruit character and the the new character challenge thing. I've been neglectful. Um, my plan is to do that on Saturday. And then actually my daughter and I are going to start streaming every Saturday with a variety of games and whatnot kind of uh, going to try and corrupt her even more than what I already have. We'll see how this goes. Um, but as for, for my week, I have spent a lot of time on STO. Um, I'm leveling a bunch of new characters, Klingon side. Um, I do this thing on my characters, which each character is dedicated to a specific type of damage. And I decided that I want the same thing on Klingon side that I have Fed side. So I had to go through and make a whole bunch of new characters. And uh, that, that's been fun. Yes, the uh, the new character challenge is one of those. That is going to be my uh, phaser character on the Klingon side. Um, so, you know, keep an eye on that. That, that should be fun. Um, other than that, uh, I did buy the new uh, Lego Star Wars um uh, Skywalker Saga or whatever it's called. Very long name for a video game. Um, and I've been dinking around on that. I have only ran episode one and two so far. Um, uh, that's fun. It, it's a fun game. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Lego Star Wars. The, I feel like the rest of the Lego games are hit or miss. Most of them are funny. But like the, the Lego Indiana Jones was just very poorly designed like it's it's just a difficult game um it's like the dark souls version of lego games um but uh th- this one's been a lot of fun so far uh, i like i said i haven't gotten that far into it so we'll see how it goes i did hear something though so uh, a buddy of mine sent me this thing on tiktok where it said the last two games you played are now combined and you're the lead character how Uh, messed up are you and i i came up with this thing so i'm um let me let me pull this up real quick I'll, i'll get my quote correct for you here i said so i've become a lego jedi captain of my own starship i travel the galaxy at hyper warp trying to keep the new federation order from falling to its enemies like the sith org now normally i'd say that would be scary however it's lego which means i can't die ever but i still have awesome force powers so bring it on and i'm i'm done Greebog, how's your week been you you okay over there you're you're banging around on your mic it sounds like that was that was me putting the phone down sorry gentle be gentle yeah that's why i can't have nice things (laughs) so maybe we we need a nicodus fail counter I, i mean um Let's see my 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 week. Uh, I I I added uh, I doubled down on my twist that I I've thrown at, at the party for my Pathfinder game. Um, I, I think uh, I, I don't know if they've figured it out yet, or I think they have at least a, a partial clue where where it's going. Um, but uh, you know, I, I it's to me it's fun. Um. I love seeing them trying to figure it out. It, it, it won't be anything horrible in the end. Um, it's just a matter of they fi- what they figure out what's happening um, and how. 
it's a puzzle. Um, yeah. And even if they don't figure it out, they'll still, uh, you know, yeah, it'll still be fun. Let's see. Um, what else? I I've done some STO, a fair, a fair amount of that. Uh, th those that are part of our fleet would know that we, we now have the elite hanger pets unlocked. So if, you if you're in our fleet and you want elite hanger pets, go to the Starbase and talk to the base equipment vendor. He has all of your things or yeah so de definitely worth picking up the 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 fleet elite hanger pets um what else what else is there did i do oh last night uh as a a, a brain cleanser I, I delved into a brand new game um i needed something kind of chill something kind of new and different and so one of the games I had I, I and hadn't really played, I delved into it. So it is called Planet Crafter, and it's a kind of a cross between Subnautica um, with the way that the resources are just littered all over the ground, much like in Subnautica when you were swimming around, you, you have to pick up the ver various resources to craft with. Um, you, you do have, it is survival, much like some Subnautica. You're on a planet with no atmosphere. You are there to terraform the planet. And so you have to craft things to make the planet better. Um, I have reached a blue sky. So that does not mean there is a breathable atmosphere yet. So yeah, th there's still, I, I still have to have oxygen, oxygen tanks to run around and do stuff. Um... It does also have kind of the look a bit uh, like uh, uh, No Man's Sky. So I don't know that there are any... Uh, plane. There is a jetpack. I do know there's a jetpack. I have not been able to build it yet, but I, I have unlocked the ability to, say, make a jetpack. I don't know if there's anything else. Like, like, like it'd be cool to have, like, a plane or jet. Uh, some kind of spacecraft, or my, even even a land rover, or something to that effect. But uh, yeah, Th that's what I've been up to. Okay then. I'm I'm glad you like the new game. I might actually have to check that out, or you know maybe I'll just play <laughs> No Man's Sky again. It, it is in pre-release, so I mean th they're still working on it. It, it. It's nowhere near done. There probably are some glitches and some bugs. I, I did find sort of a bug, though it kind of favors the player. There are, are wrecks on the planet, and you can go to the wrecks and empty out all the stuff and things out of the uh, ship, and uh, there are storage boxes and stuff full of goodies. I, I found that you can de de deconstruct the boxes, but when you leave and come back, all those boxes reappear. It doesn't. They don't have stuff in them again. But they reappear, which means you can still deconstruct them again for more resources. So, eh. me, you didn't really tell us. Yeah, hi, Mem. So, so Mementh joined us. We do have one guest. If anybody else in here wants to join us, speak up. We're going to run some uh, PFOs, and as always, we we welcome teammates to do that with us. Um, you didn't tell us about your new character challenge. I know I slacked off, but I don't believe you did. Oh, my, my new character challenge, I, I had already gotten him to level 39, and he's sitting and waiting. Um, so I, I didn't do anything with him this last week. He's sitting and waiting at level 39 for us for the next episode. I, I oh. apparently went silly and uh, did it all in one night. Went from what thirty two or so to thirty nine, something like that. Something like that. All right. Uh, so this weekend STO has has been very very interesting. Um, I'm going to start off here on the first bullet point, and then uh, I'll let you take the the second there. Um, so first contact day. That's what we're here for. Let me pull this up on my window so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Events, first contact. So first contact day runs until April 26th. Um, you have three ways to earn progress. You can run the patrol one night in Bozeman. 
the uh, model rocket launch TFO or the synthwave TFO. 14 days of progress will earn you this guy. The Synth Android A600 series. This is a pet. It goes in the same slot on your character as like the Targs or uh, the, the giant walker robot or whatever. Um, there, I still have mixed views of that, but I won't get into that right now. Um, it also gets you a first contact day bundle that includes a specialization point, 25,000 unrefined dilithium, a launch toy rocket, and a Phoenix hollow emitter. Some of that you can see here on my screen. Are you going to name your synth? Uh, that's a really good question. Maybe I'll just go with Bob. Bob's a good all around name. I think I've I been hearing about a, a book series about Bob's where they, they take on sci fi and culture things. There's even a um, Riker Bob. I, I gotta find out about it again. All right, All right uh, you, can, you can take that next one there, Greebok. The Marion class joins the Infinity Lockbox. Uh, I, they give us a look on this in the game yet. I don't see the... But uh, it, it's... Yeah, there's a new ship. It is. It was a introduced April 5th, and uh, it is Marion Command Science Dreadnought. So if you are looking for a command seating um, style ship... It is one of the ones that you'll want to go for. Um, it comes with a console reactive radiometric shielding, which is damage reduction clickable and then a radio radiation damage pulse. Um, maybe a, a tanking con uh, console for those that are building tanks and tent. I, I don't know how gr good of a tanking console it is, though. Um, it does also come with the Starship Trait Scientific Bulwark. Uh, active, yeah, activate any bridge officer ability and that adds resistance and get boost to control, drain, and EPG. So, yeah, that could be interesting. I don't know. It, with my control build, I don't do a lot of adding resistance stuff. So, yeah, anyway. Then All right. The Batwing. So, oh, hi, Tabby. Welcome, Tabby. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about the the, the Batarang. Um, so the other ship that they're talking, uh, that they're going to be introducing is the Legendary Dominion Captain's Bundle. This does include a ship, but I'm going to go through the whole bundle here. First and foremost, you get a boost. One Jem'Hadar Captain to 65. You get a... Uh, that captain get a gets a pack to help him get started. That includes uh, EC expertise, reputation vouchers, five BOF specialization qualifications. That's one of each. Uh, five enhanced universal tech upgrades. Uh, you get inventory, bridge officer, bank, and starship slots. You get a complete set of space gear, ground gear, and BOF gear specifically, uh, bridge officer gear specifically. And then you get a clone of Wayun. This is one of the Vorda, prominent in DS9. Um, so you get a clone of him. He's actually really cool. He he comes with a unique uh, ground trait. Um, I'm sorry, unique space trait. Um, that is at least as good as, uh, what is it, Superior Romulan Operative. Um, if not, maybe a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and he's a science officer. Uh, unfortunately, the clone, you only get one per account. And there's a lot, a lot of people really not happy about that. So once you open this pack, whichever character you open it on, boom, that's it. That's the character that gets it. Um, I know they've already changed one thing in this pack, so maybe they will change that. But I'm not going to hold my breath. So the, the ship that comes with this is the legendary Jem'Hadar Vanguard Pilot Attack Ship Tier 6. Try to say that, you know, five times fast. <laughs> uh, this includes a console that has been seen on a previous version of this ship. It's a universal Dominion defense screen. Gives you a passive crit chance and severity boost. 
and then it gives you a clickable that increases shield hardness and regeneration. The uh, tier five, or sorry, level five starship trait is go for the kill, also featured on a previous version of the attack ship. Uh, this is the one that extends cannon rapid fire by five seconds. Uh, the new one, the account-wide uh, starship trait, is called Vanguard Specialist. This reduces the cooldown of certain specialist boff powers. These are the like the intel, the command uh, boff powers that increase uh, your weapons. Um, it reduces the cooldown on those by a certain amount. It depends on which one. Uh, and then what was added was it now also extends those same specialist bridge officer powers by five seconds so you get both you get an extension and a cooldown reduction so um a lot of people are saying this went from a worthless trait to a must-have trait so Harder, if you're stronger right if you're chasing those numbers this might be a ship to look at all right and then for those that didn't know, there was a Star Trek convention called Star Trek Mission Chicago, which was in Chicago. And uh, they, they there was all kinds of stuff that they talked about. It wasn't all about Star Trek Online. I mean, because it, it, they, they had all uh, various shows, panels, co you know, at, at the, the convention. Um, Cryptic was there. They did release some information. They, they showed a video that... Uh, a bunch of work in progress stuff one of such things is a california class which they they said is coming which is the ceratos for from lower decks so or cerritos yeah whatever i i'm, I'm bad I, at pronouncing things so you know i love how they were like everyone's showing the 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 bootleg version here's the original just enjoy it yeah yeah so th that, that that was leaked like throughout like youtube twitter whatnot and then then Cryptic's like, no, here, have the pretty version. Watch it. Um, <laughs> they, they also uh, showed a, a alien intel multi-mission science vessel, um, w which is coming. It's said to be legendary, but I couldn't find anyone that specifically said it was legendary. They, As for these two new ships, they didn't specify technically where, where it is. Um like like how soon they're coming and whatnot so i mean they're coming um though one big important thing they said there is a new story arc that is coming called stormfall it will have more of uh you know janeway we'll, we'll have more killy we'll have some more uh i believe lita so they are they are bringing everyone back and mixing it all together um they they said they would they're gonna they're gonna add new TFO and some new missions. The new they're going to prelude like on the release of this all they're going to give us a, an event that will basically give us an intro pack to to the whole whole setup. Um, it's not uncommon that like when new missions come in that they they sometimes do that so that way one of the things for the event is to run that mission and you'll get get some of your credit that you need for your completions so uh, I guess the soonest we might see that would be after our current event is over though that means it'll be end of this month because this goes to the current first contact goes to April 26th Tabby so I, I got to add on to this. I've watched the video with the uh, release of the California class quite a few times. Um, the, the California class is not my favorite Starship design. I actually think it looks really, really weird. Um, in here. But I really like the, the way that they created the ship for game. The, the detail they put on the nacelles alone are worth taking a look at. Um, I love the detail, like in the reveal video, when it goes to warp and then explodes. Yeah, yeah, the explosion was pretty funny too. Um, the other thing that's in that video that we haven't talked about is uh, there is an image of the the strange uh, uh, jellyfish ship from Encounter Farpoint 
obviously rendered uh, with in-game graphics. And I don't know if that is something that's going to be flyable or if that's something that the, the players are going to run into. We've already got a mission with the jellyfish in it. They do not turn into the, the ship. Um, so having the ship show up would certainly be something new. Well, I, I don't K- know. Maybe, maybe we're going to have Farpoint Station. A13 has the jellyfish at them as well. That, that's true. Uh, if you've unlocked that uh, cosmetic, yeah, it, it's full of jellyfish. So I, I don't know what's up with that, but there were moving lights on it and stuff. It looked really good. Um, but nobody has been talking about that. Like, it's in the video, and nobody has said anything about it. They keep focusing on the uh, the Ceratos and the uh, Vesta, the, the possible legendary Vesta. But that was in there too. But well, well, what's also people with the the California class, they they want to have a console that summons a, a base bug or whatever. Because like whenever you watch the opening credits to lower decks, there's that bug that's sucking on its nacelle. They want something that you can send at one of your enemies to leech and drain power from your enemies. Well, and that would be a Cosmozoan. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right, so we're going to run some TFOs. We're going to run the uh, the three TFOs, or the three event, uh, I don't know. I was going to say TFOs, but one of them's a patrol, so, you know, whatever. We're going to run that stuff. Uh, so, any, let's see, we got a team of four. We got room for one. Is there anybody else in chat that would like to join us? And I'll give it a couple seconds here, because I know the video tends to run a little behind. I mean, there's all kinds of people in the uh, uh, online and fleet. There is, uh, but normally I can't get anybody to pay attention to a I fleet mean, chat. Text chat, man. Yo. <laughs> okay, so that's probably long enough. Let me ask fleet, and then we'll get started on this. While you do that, I have to do what I have to do. 16 sodiums walk into a bar followed by Batman? No, 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 no. Um, What do you call it when boar drones suffer from not wanting to obey their hive mind masters? Insubordination. Now, how long did you have to practice to say that word? On the fly. All right, we'll give this a uh, couple seconds here, and then I'll go ahead and queue us up. Now, queuing for uh, the patrol should be fine. Queuing for synth wave should be fine. Queuing for the other one, the the rocket launch, is going to be interesting. Three, two, one, click. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to that in a minute here. So we're going to start with uh, synth wave. Everybody ready? All ready. Go. All right. Instant pop. Gotta love it. We made somebody's day happy. And we kind of warped out in the same direction. I went at an angle. Yeah, same here. For, For those that don't know what's going on, the uh, essentially we are picking up people from the surface and beaming them onto the transports and ships. Uh, when we get them onto, say, like the battle cruisers and cruisers, they will actually start helping us fighting off the synth and defending the station here. Um, the fr- the frigates and transports basically do nothing other than take damage but we have to protect them uh, the transport so the transports get you the most points um it takes one beam over to activate a transport which will fly here to the the center station you get three points for that that one beam over um the frigates that only require one get you one point and here we go and the big ships require three but they only give you three points 
So the, the most efficient way to get points is to crew the uh, transports. It's recommended that you... Well... Recommended to not, not die. Um, I recommend a, a agile ship for this. Slow turn can get you sometimes caught in a bad spot. Yeah. The NX works rather well. Um, one of my methods I do is I do a, a I go in a circle. I, I slowly go in a one direction. N not the band. So you're a One Direction fan, huh? N n I honestly don't know that, that. there. I don't know any of their music, so I, I guess I could be. I... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Didn't mean to cough in everybody's ear. As I am currently breaking my rule and turning around. Well, you're on a faster ship now. It should be fine. So I'm looking down on the planet there. And yes. I'm like, oh my god. The detail the they put they... into that. I know. But it's a situation of, if you think about it, how powerful are Star Trek weapons? We're talking, you know, nukes level on phasers, I'm guessing. Uh, actually, they're anti-proton, but um, you didn't... I mean, they even back in the original series, they talked about how ships' weapons have the ability to pulverize a planet. I know. Yeah, it's, like, we're, we're talking, like, above and beyond nuclear level. I know, it's still... My brain is just broken. Oh, I haven't seen Picard, so I haven't. I don't know how much they tell about this or how much they show. Oh. But wow, I, I really like this TFO. They, I think they did a, an amazing job with the uh, graphics and the rebuild of, of Mars. Oh yeah, and. and I, I say that because those that ran any old Mars missions will, will remember how Mars used to look. Um, and I, I would say this is way far and above, you know, a huge up. I would agree with that. It just makes me go, wow, the detail for one, yeah. But it still makes me go, wow, on the scale of destruction. I mean, we're seeing a good hemisphere of the planet. And... I'm beating into the frigate there, Simon. Oh no, yes you are. I, I already had started it by the time you said it. Yeah, I'm trying to find transports and stuff to put in. Yeah, I was too. I was like, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go to the, uh, a hair bit in. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, get out of this circle, because I do not want to blow up. Gonna lose one. Okay, I don't want to hit the cruiser. I want to get the other guy. Transport I mean, me it equals more guy. money. More money. Come on, more money. I like that.
Oh, that's why I didn't get a person. Someone raced over to the my, my beam up spot. See how you are, Katiz. Well, we got quite a few. No, I mean like, if this was in universe, like each transport, how many people are you getting? I would say probably the beam ups that we are doing is more probably in not not one individual. I would say it's probably a roughly hundred people at a time would be my guess. I mean, it depends on your ship a little bit because you you got to think about how big your ship is, how many transporter pads do you have, so on and so forth. What's well, also. Um... I was reading up the other day, literally on transporters, and how they're like, yeah, in an emergency situation, they can increase you know, the beam and get like 100 people at once. It's incredibly stupid risky, but they can do it. I'm not... Where are ships? I can transport right over here by me. I'm going to try and get... I guess I'm going for a cruiser. That's all I'm seeing. I've been picking up. I've been grabbing transports around the outer edge. I'm kind of not in the outer edge. I'm kind of in the middle. Good. There's a couple over by me. I see a transport or a frigate on my path. I'm gonna get. Good. So. I have some bad guys that are harassing it. This is gonna be the longest one that we run. The rest of them won't take too long. Yeah. Shouldn't take too long. This one's just, you know, each round takes so many minutes. I haven't done the the patrol yet, but the fire, the firework thingy is fun. Hi, Pat. Hello. I'm gonna grab this one real quick if you don't mind. No, you already got it. You abandoned it. Go ahead and take it. More satellites are coming under sensor control. All regional area is running in the descent. Yeah, I accidentally zipped out of the area. The nice thing about having a an agile ship, typically you don't have a huge mass, so you can stop I'm, more. I'm in a defiant. Oh, well, then you can't stop on a dime I didn't stop on a I didn't try and stop fast enough oh okay. oh I'm gonna lose one I don't think I have enough time to say but we'll try you try nope they blew it up before I could even beam to it Crazy robots, go figure. You know, that's a pretty standard thing in sci-fi, is the robots that go crazy. We saw it in, in Battlestar, we saw it in iRobot, um, a little bit in Doctor Who, I mean, it's kind of all over the place. Star Trek had not done it before, so this, this was, uh, you know, Trek kind of catching up with a lot of the other sci-fis out there. Are you sure? Because I remember a few um, where they were like used, like with mud and such. TOS did like crazy robot stuff off and on. Yeah, Except it was more AI. Not, not like not not like on the like an entire like the entire robot race going. I mean, sure, they did the occasional. I mean. They're, they're the Borg, for example, are kind of that way. But I, I'm talking about the sci-fi trope where they rise up against their creators. Um, 
there there was an episode in Voyager that I remember that kind of covered a similar topic. Yeah. Um, but Synthwave, like the the episode uh, in uh, Short Treks, I mean it's it's very 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 classic. You know, made an army of robots to be slaves, and all of a sudden they rise up. Um, I see no ships to grab. Yep. I've been going back to base. So they're allowing the base finally? Yes. Okay. I've got my sound turned down so I hope my feet doesn't come through on the mic as much. Little. Uh, I always loved Worf's response to that. Riker says, tough little ship, and Worf goes, little. <laughs> I mean, it, it all depends on your definition. Don't, don't, don't let them through. I'm trying. I wonder if all ships of that class now have cloaks by default. They do not. Um, as a matter of fact, that is that is canon to Deep Space Nine. Well, no, I, because I when you see the Valiant, uh, when you see the episode with the Valiant, the Valiant does not have a cloak. I mean, like in this time frame, after Romulus has fallen. Yeah, you know, it's like like this ship here has a cloak. They have to allow players to have cloaks or it'll... Well, yeah. and the, the ship the ship you're in is uh, a combination. It, it was created with the okay of the Romulans. So if they broke the Treaty of Algernon, that's okay. But does the Treaty of Algernon still exist? Well, they haven't really explored any of that yet. That uh, that area of can that area of canon is still unexplored. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it is an interesting idea. Of what's the canon? I would think I would think it does, just because there are portions of the original Romulan government that are still in effect, that are still active, and I can't see Starfleet just dropping the treaty. Starfleet be like, oh, your homeworld's de uh, destroyed all the... Because if Starfleet drops the Treaty of Algernon, then they're pretty much saying all treaties that you've signed with us are null and void. Yeah, and that's just not the way they function. That's if anything, bad... if anything, they would use it as a talking point to get the Romulans to come to the table. Hey, look, we're still following this, this thing that we signed years and years ago. We still acknowledge that your government exists. Let's talk. And it's like they still acknowledge the new Romulan. Um... Yes, and that's, as you see in game, that's a, a bit of a contentious point. Because the, the current Romulan government views them as terrorists. But Starfleet doesn't like Sela, so. Do we have anyone at Beta? Uh, no. I'm at Gamma. I can go to I'm Beta. I'm at Beta. But... Okay. Okay. Politics, man. I'm, at, I'm in Beta with my uh, tough little ship. In in universe politics. FYI, I did not. I, my brain just thought, oh, wait, this could be construed as um, real life talk, and it's not. No, that's why I said in, in universe. We are discussing in universe uh, politics, not real world. Yeah. And that's okay. It, 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 well, the uh, thing is, is, many shows will explore real world politics, you know, with things in games and such, you know, or, or in their shows. It, yeah. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, we're we're actually discussing. Okay, that, fair enough. We're just talking about different governments, though, not like high-profile topics. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, Star Trek has always been a, um, a show on politics. It's always been one of talking about things and promoting a discussion and a thought. It's a GM. Well, that's more or less what it was designed to be. That's what Gene Roddenberry wanted. He wanted to show the viewers the world that could be. And how to get there. And we should be about done here. Yeah, we we gotta wait for the uh cruisers and stuff to to get there uh, yeah get out because we hold the line until the end i do love how the grab well just will suck everything in like oh you thought you were over there no you're coming over here this well you, you don't understand my grab wells this this ship is built for control i have a 12 kilometer reach of my grab wells <laughs> I need to figure out how you're doing that, probably, and emulate it, but and then I'm not up for... <clears throat> a lot of control expertise. We're going to do a... Uh, uh, one of these episodes, when he's done with his build, we're going to do a deep dive so we can show everybody what he's doing. And I'm going to do another deep dive on a on my DPS. I blow things up good. <laughs> A nice little view of McKinley Station over here, and invites are incoming. Uh, if I open up the right window. Tabby, Grebog, and Mem. Alrighty. Okay, so next up would be the patrol, and we all have to queue with this, uh, but it should still beam us down together. So everybody open your events tab and select the uh, one night in Bozeman patrol. Okay. And then hit launch when ready. Oh, in one sec. Apparently it'll pop up a window to ask us to if we want to go, so... I wasn't sure if it would do that or not. I'm, I'm glad to see that working. And Tabby gets the, uh, the one NPC. I like Tabby's hat. But thank you. You, you good with bringing your four of six there, Tabby? Oh, timed out. Let's try it again. Oh, I'm somebody back. else gets it. Yep, I've got it this time. Um... Oh, Janeway's coming with us. <laughs> All right, you guys good? Sure. New dish. I need a better outfit than my jumpsuit. Well, I guess it's not really a jumpsuit, but it, it sort of reminds me of a jumpsuit. <laughs> All right, who are we waiting on? Uh, it'd be Tabby. Oh, oh shit. Oh, booted her. I press okay, the accept we'll, button. We'll try it again. Okay, oh, now who? <laughs> okay, we'll we'll get this eventually. We're waiting on yeah. Oh, the guy who's changing characters. There we go. Sorry, I didn't realize changing it reset it. It's fine. Okay, I need to... Somebody's going to have to put on a... Uh, um, the remodulator to, to make us pull the shield down. I need to change my weapon out here. I already 
uh, I think, have one on. I'm going with the throwing knives. I got the TR-116. Yeah, I, 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 I went with the throwing knives. I've got the TR-116, but I went with the other one. All right. All right, all right. All oh right. my god, we, she's going to keep pestering me we, until we I do. May, we may all have to do it. Here, I will unequip and re-equip. I put mine on. I've got a shotgun. Put oh, your, I have a Tommy gun, your modulator on. There we go. Tommy gun equip. Okay, there we go. Now you can switch it back if you need to. Throwing knives. Yay. Tommy gun. The science weapon of all old times. That's Picard's favorite board killer. <laughs> I like that. Resistance is inevitable. Complex system hits. We're also going to make a pause here and uh, listen to uh, Troy and Deanna talk. Like, this is not a uh, simulation. This is not a holodeck. We actually traveled through time to be here because the Borg are making a, another attack. Um, and we're supposed to be hiding from, you know, the, the Enterprise crew, Picard and his people, as Seven calls it. Um, but you got to think. So, like, I'm a cat person, right? Just kind of casually walking around Bozeman. And none of the humans we're running into say anything. They're um, furry fans. Sure, why not? I I'm sorry, Ian. Yeah, and we have a lizard folk running around. And again, nobody says anything. It's fine. Yeah, Throwing knives for the win. Oh, yeah, they do talk about the Borg, though. Just not us. They're scared of the robot zombies, but not the, the people killing them. Well, they're probably just preoccupied with the robot zombies. Oh, more Borg. Gotcha. But they can remember us. They can't remember yeah. the Borg, but they can remember us. Well, I imagine we're doing a short-term wipe. They won't remember any of us. But that that's only this group. Like, we ran through a camp just a little bit ago, and we didn't stop and erase those people's memories. With our dinosaurs and lachi walkers and targs. got to protect the timeline but never mind about the timeline it, it's fine we got time this is no for time timeline. to be talking about time oh that borg was right on top of that that i need to get the tr gun this shotgun is just poopy. I can craft it for you when we're done if you'd like. The shotgun should be fine. You might just need to upgrade it. I would think. It's more of a, I feel it's not a, it's a distance. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, the knives don't have a whole lot of distance either, but they're fun. They deal a ton of damage. Power up, 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 up,
bad bastards. Oh, thank God, I died. I think I know what they're doing here, and it's not good. Come on, the complex doesn't. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. As Katis is like five miles ahead and see Tabby in the frozen heat running even faster. Hold on, hold on. More structure combat is inbound. The ground floor is more strong. See, I, I can just walk into camp, summon my lightning, and like I am a god, worship me. Oh wait, no. <laughs> That'd be wrong. That'd be wrong. Yeah, here we go. All set. Make it. I hear it. They just took the sound, you know, straight out of the movie, put it here. <laughs> they actually did a passable job to making it sound like we are listening through a wall. Well, I mean, with effects, you can do all kinds of fun things. All right. Yeah, but they do the whole conversation there in the bar, which is pretty cool. Nice little Easter egg. This is no time to be talking about time. We don't, we don't have, have the time. The time. Alright, John Blake, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, me and Alyssa got it. Okay, and here we're at the end. Explosions! Boom. As we just annihilate everything. We did, too. That was great. And we're done with the first one. I already blew up everything over here around it. I, I didn't on, realize. I, I, and I just hit my... Uh... Your I win button? I, I hit my lightning, my ball lightning, and... <laughs> It just a night. Whatever was over here was explosive. Oh, went off. Oh no! Security protocols. Anybody want to have a knife throwing competition? I, I think I need to train my dino better. Um. Because he uh, Jasper just shot his beams through me. That doesn't seem like a good safety thing. Um, <laughs> I, I think we need to uh, r remind uh, Jasper about the safety protocols about shooting through friends. The friend or foe protocol has failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one left. Yeah, sure you have. If you've on, adapted, then why are you all dead? Uh, adapt to this, right, buddy. That one's uploading the last one. Ooh, heavy tactical drone. Hey, don't don't, don't judge them by their weight. <laughs> Just husky. Isn't that what I think? That's what my mom used to call them. Uh, you're not you, you're not fat. You're husky. Thanks, Mom. I don't know that that makes me feel any better about it. Eh, 
And we are done. Yeah, if anyone it, it, it wants to join a fleet, I know a fleet that, that yeah, contact at Nicodus or at Real Greebog. We can get you in. We, we, we know people. <laughs> Maybe. We might know people. Who, who might have, have the power to invite. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's got a tier 5 star base, so all the th stuff and things from a star base is unlocked. And you get it the moment you join. We don't put it behind a paywall. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you might have to give Tabby some burritos. I mean, sure. <laughs> we also don't kick for playtime, so, you know. I, I haven't kicked anyone out of the fleet yet. We, uh, we're pretty lax and, you know, in that sort of stuff. All right, so now comes our secondary target. And I put this as secondary because this is going to be a hit or miss thing. We might all go to the same one. We might not. So everybody pull up your window. Go to the event tab. I Mine's grayed out, and it's probably because we're in a group. Well, hang on a second, because mine is not. So let's try this. It, it said failed. All right. So, oh, let me. I was told we can't do this as a private, but let me check. Last I looked, I did not see it in the. I mean, I would love to be wrong. Um, yeah, it's not in there. Worth a, worth a check, though. So I guess right, that means so, drop group? Yep, we're going to have to leave group, and then everybody's going to have to queue up. But wait for the countdown, please. Okay, so it should be lit up now where you guys can click on it. I will do a countdown, three, two, one, click. When I say click, everybody clicks it. Ready. Everybody ready. 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 All right. Three, two, one, click. I got an instant pop. Same. I didn't. Oh. It's going to put us in different ones. Popped here. I wish they would fix that. Tabby, did you get a pop? I just got a pop. Yes, the stream has gotten wonky. So it looks like Tabby, Tabby and I are in a group, or in the same one. John Blake is here. I don't see so who Magenta you, is. The the three of you got together. I'm the odd man out. Sucker. Purple. Yeah, purple. Magenta. They call it magenta. Yeah. By the way, stream died. Yeah, I see that. D died completely? It, it's... Oh, Bandwidth has gone to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your, your sound's coming in poopy. I reloaded and it kind of fixed it. I... Oh, well, it just oh. gave me a welcome to chat room. So, uh... <laughs> Yeehaw. This is why I upload the save from my computer versus downloading the, 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 the video or having Twitch send it across. Because then, the uncorrupted is put up onto the uh, YouTube channel. And you can watch... Non broken stream <laughs> that way. Well, I'm not off to a great start here. One of the parts has given you quite a shock. Uh oh, something shocked you. Yep. 
Yep, it zapped me. I got a blue part, though. Nice. Okay, need to go get something else here. I can't believe it set me as in my own. <laughs> oh no, they, fire! They absolutely should make this so you can, you know, go with a team. Yeah, I mean, I mean that would be more fun. Um, stop regulating my fun, Hiptic. Okay, now I need. I guess. I guess I'm okay on the hall, but I'm already running this way. I need engine and uh, stabilization. Forest fires have been reported in the area. This engine is going to arrive you soon. Keep Be searching. careful. Forest fires are, uh, have been spotted beside me. Only you can prevent forest fires. No, no, no. Don't run into the. Oh. It wouldn't let me turn, so I ran in straight into the fire. Because I guess that yeah, whatever. It it destroyed. Oh, seriously! I guess that's something to learn. If you run into a fire with the with the part before getting back to your workbench, the part is destroyed. Lovely. Did not know that before. Of course, I don't run into many fires, huh? Eh, <laughs> uh, just bad relationships here. Now, even if you don't get all purple, there is a, a little bit of an RNG involved here. Okay. Crazy stuff going on with my mine. It says I, I got the purple hull that got destroyed. When I picked, got a blue hull and took it back. I, I don't, unless my, my thing doesn't match what everyone else sees. Well, I don't know. I'm in my own instance. So far. Abby has all blues from what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, there's another. I got less than a minute. Same. Same. Then we start the phase two. Everyone's favorite mini game. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be the other mini game. Yeah, could be worse. I, I I actually don't mind the mini game. I know some people don't like that. Well, any of the mini games. So. So yeah, I'm I'm back. I bet I I sent out another notification to people that I am live streaming again. <laughs> All right. Leave me alone, spiders. You can have that pile. I'm running back. Yep, me too. So I love how the bushes block you. It's like I can't run through them. Some of them you can, though. Some of them you I know, can't. That's, that's the really. Urgh. I just jump over them. Not all of us are cats. <laughs> Whoever Turian is, he ain't doing so good. I I've noticed some people come in here and just uh, sort of AFK. They will do the minimal and, and yeah. It's fine. Wow, 
Wow, I ended up with all purple. Rats. From the mini game of all things. I'm doing all right. Tabby needs a stabilizer, it looks like. And and John Blake, you you need a few pieces yet. All right, here we go. So, like I said, the rewards are the same no matter what where you place. So. Yeah, it's yeah, that's fun. true. It's just fun, bragging rights. Ooh, mine's shaking. I I do like the fact that they. Uh, Seem to take into consideration, like if you have a bad stabilizer, that it like uh, wobbles yeah, all over yeah, the place. Yeah. Red didn't get off the pad. It, well, you know, Red didn't do anything. Okay, so I went three hundred and seventy-one. Which was first place in my match. I went 446. Beat me. And then... Abby looks like got... 375? Where does it show the actual number? Um, I'm On the results. Down. Results? You just have to remember your color. Uh, oh, 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 yep, yep. I was 195, green, Simon, you went 446. Tabby yep, is I gold. went 375. So, so Tabby even beat uh, Nicodus, right? Yep. I was the best in mine, but out of us, I was the worst. No, <laughs> you, you you beat uh, uh, Mem, so. All right, so let's see. What's our fleet status update there Grubog. Uh, it's party time at the fleet um we have <laughs> the transwarp conduit which is the final 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 like project to, to to build at the starbase it is counting down so well it doesn't really give us much it'll give us transwarps from the starbase to pass force omega and defera uh, we already most people already have those through the reputation system so i i it's it, it it it'll be done there won't be anything else to build um i i will be keeping an eye on the provisions and queuing up projects on for that i have and i, I i'm going to guess we're going to probably need some more of the science personal requisition provisioning because that is what uh all of the hanger pets were going to be purchased through. So, and for those that don't know, I think it was 38,500 dilithium and 100,000 fleet credits. I put it into the chat the other. I'm actually going over because I need to see what they are, you know. But they are elite quality and awesome. For actually, everybody. they're very rare. Elite would be oh. gold. Fine. Very. They're they're the very they're the top that you can get. There is no nothing better than the quality that you can buy now that we have it unlocked. Um, the colony yeah. is moving along nicely. We we are still making progress. It still it will take some more time because th that final tier five is a massive massive like a hundred and fifty thousand experience, um, which is more than what it took to get to tier five so i mean we're we're still moving along nicely i mean we we are almost halfway through on, on the morale so yeah and same with renewable energy so we're, we're doing really well so next week we're going to be covering our new character challenge we're going to hit level 40 go over what we get at level 40 and then move on from there um are we stopping at 65? Are we just going to say job well done, pat on the back, move on to the next thing? Or are we going to work on builds and stuff with those characters too? I, I was not going, I, I didn't plan on stopping. 
we we may not do as frequent of updates on, on the captains because but when i stream on we uh, on my wednesdays I, I was going to still try to focus on every so well maybe every other wednesday do 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 that captain and so builds that i am working on i'm still going to keep myself streaming i only will do things while i'm streaming to unlock you know stuff for him so missions okay. and so on and so forth fair enough but yeah but, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, probably we'll step probably... back and, and do builds and every so often and these will end up being budget builds so yeah yeah okay sounds good to me um all right and i think that's it i don't think i missed anything right we, we covered hey. all our stuff that's it's it's been a week um yeah <laughs> we uh we did run over a little bit today so sorry for that guys oh we no fun. <laughs> oh oh um, as always i will leave you with the words uh of q when he's talking to picard and all good things See you out there. Live long and prosper. <laughs>